This is Blickling Hall in Norfolk. The current hall was built using existing foundations and flooring of the earlier Boleyn property, where Anne Boleyn was reputed to have been born and raised. The estate covers 4,777 acres and cost the princely sum of £8,000 in 1616, when it was bought by Sir Henry Hobart. The existing hall was completed in 1624. The building has undergone many changes over the years, particularly the gardens with the addition of the Greek-style temple, which was constructed in 1698. During the Second World War, Blickling Hall was requisitioned and used as officers' accommodation for Bomber Command aircrew from the nearby RAF Oldham. And today, on a cold but sunny spring day, it has been invaded by a large group of visitors, including myself and my friend Claire. So where have we come to, to well, get today, Claire? We've come to Blickling Hall, which is a Jacobean estate where Anne Boleyn lived. Um, and who was Anne Boleyn? She was the second wife of Henry VIII, who was beheaded. Who Henry VIII was? No. Oh, Anne Boleyn. Anne Boleyn. Oh, gosh, get away with you. <laughs> Fancy that. What you can't really see is the fact that it's bloody cold. I can't remember a lot from the, um, the house. There was a gorgeous library. A big long gallery. It was like, I don't know, 200 And, and the, um, the state bedroom was pretty amazing. It was, and there was a room that had lots of Chinese things in it, which was called well, the Chinese room. Um, on the walls, painted. Was it drawn on, wasn't it? Chinese design. And let's not forget the lady breastfeeding in the long <laughs> library. Who Steve happened to point out. <laughs> <laughs> Poor lady. Yeah, this is a nice little shelter, isn't it? Actually, when you're out in the sun, you can actually feel the heat. Can you? Yeah. So if I put my leg out like that... I can actually feel the heat. That's unbelievable. Now, can I point out a few faults with this estate that I really don't like? You have the statue of Anne Boleyn, which is out of proportion. Oh, the big, the small head. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. And the horse's head, massive, massive painting, was also completely out of proportion. And that's really annoyed me. <laughs> so, um, yes. You could write a very sternly worded, worded letter. letter. I think I will. Yeah. I love this, though. Look at the compass. That is beautiful. Oh look! Hey, and hey. British summertime. Oh yeah! How oh, come look? Oh, yeah. British summertime. Three o'clock. And it works because they've got the sun out today. Yeah. That is amazing. I love this compass. Oh, on my shoulders, aren't they? So just to prove it is springtime, we've actually got daffodils that are coming up and flowering, even though it's freezing cold. Sorry? Tell me, are you pleased you came? Oh yeah, definitely. Are you? I think it was worth the drive. Most yeah. Time. Beautiful. Beautiful. At least the sun came out in the end. I know. It's a very rare thing. Take note of this. It's very spring-like, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful.
Come on then, in your hop. <laughs> Just think it's a hot day. I forgot my costume. And you want to get your feet wet. <laughs> bluebells but they do do the history comes to life you know thing of talking about mm. Where you go? but it would definitely be nice to see it again this so, proper summer yeah. wouldn't it and I now know you can use the flip share software so I don't fully understand it but you can still make videos yeah, it's okay are you filming? no are you really? oh no <laughs> So what's your uh, verdict on the catering facilities? Very small and cramped. What have you been waiting for? Well there's been queues there all day hasn't there? Yeah. Ever since we arrived this morning there's been queues. We queued later in the day and we're third in the queue. We finally got a seat. And then someone nicked our table. I know. Quite a lot of people sit in our seats. Oh, you're not playing. It's a reoccurring thing. Soon got rid of her. Yeah. Boy, <laughs> shit. That was funny because you, <laughs> you were like, no, I was going, oh, what do we say? What do we say? And then you were just like, excuse me, these were our seats. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh, yeah, well, that's right. We paid for them. She was yeah. being silly. Yeah. voted the most haunted house in Britain according to a 2007 survey. It is said that every year on the anniversary of her execution for treason, which was on the 19th of May 1536, Anne Boleyn's headless ghost returns to the place where she was happiest, Blickling Hall. She arrives in a black carriage, driven by her headless father. Thanks for watching. Sleep tight. Thank you.